on wine is, is what people are eyeing next. Can we expect relief on tariffs there? Because it's been completely wiped out since 2020. Um, yes, uh, welcome uh, to uh, opportunity to uh, talk uh, with you and your listeners. Uh, well, um, obviously, uh, Bali is the first step in a long process of stabilising our relationship, uh, our trading relationship with, uh, with China. Um, over the last few years, there's been something like $20 billion worth of trade uh, that was previously done uh, with, uh, with China that has been uh, stopped. Uh, now, there's been a variety of reasons uh, as to why some of them have been uh, stopped. Uh, some of them relate to uh, tariffs and some of them relate to uh, regulatory uh, rules. Um, we've started with uh, Bali to see whether or not uh, we can resolve our outstanding issues in respect of Bali, and we're hopeful that that provides us for a template to deal with all of the other outstanding issues. Um, we have a paradoxical relationship with China. On the mm. one hand, they're far and away our largest trading partner. We did almost uh, $300 billion worth of trade with China last year. And to put that into perspective, that's more than all of the trade that we do with the United States, Japan, um, Korea, Indeed. Singapore, the United Kingdom uh, and Germany. So it's a huge market for us. Um, but we've had this $20 billion worth of trade impediments. Um, those issues didn't, uh, didn't occur overnight. Uh, they won't be resolved overnight. Um, we've also uh, <clears throat> managed to get coal back into the, uh, the, the China market. That's uh, been happening over the last couple of months. Um, mm -hmm. We hope to resolve the barley issue in the, uh, in the next uh, couple, of, uh, uh, couple of months. And then we'll be moving on one by one to all of those outstanding uh, products.